Phobia Cogsway from the Trinity Force Network. We're kicking off Sheen Prox at week two of the NALCS. I'm sitting here with CLG's top laner. Darshan, how are you? Great. Pleasure to meet you, Adam. A pleasure to meet you as well. So we just watched you play against uh, Team Liquid. You were playing Fiora, and I really want to talk about um, later in the game, you had an amazing parry, and I'm sure everyone's going to you know, gift that. It's going to be all over Reddit, right? But I want to talk about more about the stuff that goes through your mind during those moments where you you make those plays, you make those flashes. Um, you started out by running away, and you had an instinctive flash when Rise flashed it. Something like that, are you predicting that, or was or is that just kind of one of those lucky things that happens when you're playing the game? Um, I was predicting it, but it's also somewhat instinctive because I knew like the exact range of like when he could hit me and like root me. So I knew if I flashed at the exact time when he was in range to do that, then I would like force his flash. Mm -hmm. So then even though he came to gank me, he would also lose his flash. So it would have been a like good trade. Sure. And so then I knew with for like the root, when he got in range to root, he would root me immediately so he could catch me. So I also just waited until he got in the perfect range and then I uh, use my W. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, everyone watch that, you know, we're, we're all on the edge of our seat watching you, you make these plays, and it, I don't think any of us expected the W to come out when it did, but obviously it was a great play. You made it out of there, and you didn't uh, get hurt. Excuse me. Um, so moving on throughout the game, you, you you guys seem to prioritize the lane swap, and I had talked to Bebe before this from TIP about the lane swap, and they were playing it standard. Um, does CLG practice on the lane swap? Do you feel right now on patch 6.2 that's the way to play the game, or for at least from a professional level, or is there more to it than that? Um, it's always an option, and um, it's a great way of just like having more preparation for the game. You know, if you have the lane swap, you take the other team off guard, then you have that advantage already. Mm -hmm. And that's like part of what's good of having a lane swap. Lane swap's also good for like dodging lanes. Like there's so many reasons to lane swap. And so it's always good to evaluate that. And that game, we had decided that it would be better to lane swap. So we went for it. Uh, from a top laner perspective, how hard is it to learn or play into a lane swap? How much, um, I mean, you've been doing it for a couple seasons now, but as you learned how to, how much practice goes into lane swap? And do you have any advice for anybody who's trying to get a ranked fives team together to, to learn how to do these strategies? Um, I think the best way to do it is just like watch like how competitive teams do it because it's like completely different from playing a regular game of League of Legends, right? It's kind of just like you lane swap and then all these different things happen. And um, it's kind of difficult at first because it's like you're playing a different game almost because as a top laner, you're actually just not farming for like the first five minutes of the game. Right. You don't have a lane. <laughs> you're level one at like five minutes and you're like, what's going on? But you kind of have to learn to be okay with that and you have to kind of learn to know when you can get farm. And so... Um, 2v1 is all about knowing who you want to get strong and um, being able to make sure that person gets farm. So as a top lane, if you're not farming, you have to know, realize that you'll, you'll get your farm eventually if you play patient, if you don't get like upset with the situation, and if you focus on like what the best thing to do. And usually right now the 2v1 is pushing down like both tier 1 towers. And giving the extra gold to the top laner, the 150 gold, plus, yeah. the, plus the 100 out of it. So you at least make something back. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, in the end. So, yeah, you're not stuck forever. Um, let's talk a little bit more. I'm going to talk a little bit about of Matt's from Team Liquid's Bard because he was, I mean, he was causing a disruption in, yeah. in, during those team fights. Um, what's the communication like, and how are you guys playing around the Bard? Because it doesn't seem like something you normally see, you know, those Bard alts come out and catching you guys out of nowhere. Do you, do you recall how, what your conversations were like during those times where you were expecting the Bard alts to come, or even the first one? Um, we were just ready to make sure whoever got Bard ulted would be safe. So you saw a lot of us just, like, if they bard ulti someone, we're off, like making sure their carries can't do damage, or like the, he doesn't get stunned again out of the bard ulti. And we're like really focused on that because Matt was constantly looking for those bard ultis, and he got some good ones off. But a couple of them we were able to like turn around because we were ready for them at the time. And um, they didn't really have a tank, mm -hmm. or they they did have Shen as a tank, but Rexai went full damage, so we knew if their frontline went in, we could just kill him with Fiora's true true damage. So even if bard ulti is, as long as we're grouped up together, we'll still be fine. Okay, excellent. Let's talk, let's, um, you know, kind of wrap this up a little bit. I want to talk about you as Darshan, because as of this year, you are no longer Zion Spartan. You are now, you want to be talked about Darshan. And um, you came on the Riot Community podcast and specifically talked about that. Do you mind for anybody who may not have listened to that episode, talk about why you are changing your name and why you're going with that brand rather than the Zion Spartan brand? Okay. There's definitely a lot of reasons that went through when I ch uh, changed that. And um, I won't be able to go through all of them, but something, some things I haven't talked about is like, when you think about like your like when I when I made Zion Spartan, I was like seven or eight years old, and um, like when everyone makes their screen names, it's different from their real name. You know, there's kind of that separation. And like online, I think part of the reason there's like toxicity and stuff like that is because there's a separation between who you are and who you are online. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want that with my persona. I didn't want to be known as Zion Spartan and Darshan. I just wanted to be Darshan, okay. and I didn't want 
and people that seem like I was far away or different or anything. You know, I'm just another human being. I'm just another person. I'm right. I'm nobody special. I'm just a person trying my heart out to be like to push myself every day and be the best at everything I can be, and nothing different from that. So I just want like people to know me as Darshan and nothing else. Awesome. Well, Darshan, I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to uh, kick off our Sheen Proc series with us, and uh, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you for watching.